All right, now, um, I just put some movies here, whatever, and I'm gonna make some functions. This one will be uh, delete movie. And by ID, of course. All right, and I have to filter the movies again. But I'm gonna clean them, basically, cleaned movies. This means I want an array of movies that do not have a movie ID that is the same as the ID that I'm giving them, all right? That's how I clean the movies. And what I say here is I'm gonna check, I say cleaned movies length. If it's more than, no. Sorry, if the movies is more than the cleaned movies length, this means that I have deleted one, else I'm going to return false. And here I'm going to return true. All right, this is very simple. I'm going to I'm going to filter the movies, all right, by ID. And I'm going to select all the movies that do not have the same ID that I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for the movie number one, I'm going to select the movies zero, two, and three, all right? And then I'm going to see if the current movies array has a length of, let's say, four, and that is more than the clean movies, which is a length of three, then I'm going to assign movies to cleaned movies. All right, that's it. And I'm gonna return true, done. So this will be my three methods that I'm gonna make for right now. I'm just gonna keep practicing with you. And let's change this, ID, name, and score. Movie, ID, name, and score. This will be an int. In here, movies, this returns a movie. Correct. And this movie returns a movie. Remember, this is an array of movies. This one, it's only a movie. All right, and now here, the same thing. Movies, movie. And here it's a get movies. I made a function and get by ID, same thing. And I return a get movies all right let's check it out refresh it's not running what happened boy movies is read only that's correct done all right let's check it out refresh and now here as you can see it doesn't work because now we only have two options, movies and movie. So let's do it, movies. I want the score, eight, nine, and two. There is a null value. Oh, this is score, sorry, one. Done, score, one, eight, nine, nine, done. But I don't know what I'm talking about, so name. Star Wars, Avengers, The Godfather, and Logan done all right as you can see it's working with a different database system i just wanted to know and remember that you can hook any database you want okay anything that you want you can hook it up here all right doesn't matter anything on the back end doesn't matter now let's talk about mutations how much time no mutations too long but you know what let's define a mutation a mutation is when the database changes of state okay changes of state so I want to say mutation and yeah I mean you can define as many types as you want it doesn't matter how many types you define but the point is that if you want GraphQL to call your mutations or your queries you have to put them inside of the type query and the type mutation so we're going to define a mutation which is going to call it's going to be called at movie all right and we we need uh we don't need the id this is going to be generated automatically by our uh, database we need the name and the score so the name is a string and it's mandatory. And the score is an int, but let's say it's not mandatory. No, it's mandatory as well. 
all right? And this is going to return a movie. But it's mandatory to create the movie, right? The movie has to be created, I guess. And this will be our mutation. Let's do here mutation add movie. And this comes with nothing. And here we need to have name and score. And I'm going to return something. I will see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.